Time to do good this Christmas season. Take an hour to remember why. This Christmas season, join us for a Sunday worship service at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Father, we... Merry Christmas to everybody. I want y'all to know, you know, before Christmas get here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you Merry Christmas because I already gave you what's coming. You know what I'm saying? So, Merry Christmas, everybody. You know, every year, every year I, I never expect a happy birthday from anybody. You know what I'm saying? I never expect it. You know what I'm saying? I used to get it from, like, my neighbors, the little triplets, the African triplets, and they cousin. I used to get, they used to come by and say happy birthday to God. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, nobody else really came and fooled with me on my birthday. So I just want everybody to know, happy birthday. And I'm going to tell Mama dear, before our birthday come up, you know what I'm saying? If I have a party for you, I'm going to have it right here. You know I'm going to throw you a party, Mama dear. I'm going to do it on your birthday, on my birthday. But if we don't have no party thrown for us by nobody else, it don't matter. We're we going to just do our We thank thing. you for <clears throat> this another opportunity. Creflo Dollar title, uh, When Will I Be What God Says I Am? When you apologize to Adam and Eve, first off, because out of your mouth I heard you say they was the cause of the fall. I want you to explain to us why. I want you to apologize first, though. But while you apologize, I want you to tell me why you felt like that. And why would anybody say that if they was deceived and the devil was the only one that disobeyed anybody, that disobeyed God by telling them that God didn't want them to know that they not going to surely die. You know what I'm saying? that they'll be able to live regardless because God ain't the only one that give you life. We all got life. That's what the devil told them. And the devil lied to y'all. You know what I'm saying? And now all I want out of you, man, is uh, an apology for mom and daddy. An apology to all the people in the world that you thought was unrighteous and in the Bible. God wants you to apologize to the dead and the living. For the, for the things that happened within this earth this atmosphere because the earth ain't nothing but a star in this atmosphere that's all the earth is that's why you see down when you look ahead you see the earth going down you don't see everything out in front of you it goes down further you see the the more roundness you see the star is and all the star is is your earth, you know what I'm saying? We need to minister to these, your precious sheep. Thank you, Lord, that revelation knowledge will flow freely, uninterrupted and unhindered by any satanic or demonic force. Father, I pray that you will speak through my vocal cords and think through my mind. None of me and all of you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Praise God. Uh, so glad to have with us this morning Pastor Ben Tankard. God bless you, sir. Good to see you. Love you. Amen. Now, uh, of course, next Sunday is, is Christmas, and um, all year long we've been talking about some aspect of, of grace. Um, I, I hesitate some because all year I've been trying to figure out a contradiction. Uh, so I thought whoever came to church the Sunday before Christmas probably wanted to be here. So I'm going to take a stab at it today and just kind of see what happens. <laughs> I, I need utterance from the Holy Spirit. I do know that if I don't teach this, then I can't go any further with you where the teaching of grace is concerned. Um, because it's, it's something that is a contradiction that we just allowed it for it to stay as, as a con contradiction, 
and not look at it. So I call this series, which I'm going to plant it in you today, and then you're going to let it kind of swirl around on the inside of you a little bit, and then we'll, you know, wish you a Merry Christmas and yada, yada, yada. Nobody wants to really learn on Christmas, so it'll be a little popcorn sermon. I'm just playing. I don't know popcorn sermons, you know. <laughs> but then we'll start off in the new year somehow or another trying to teach you that there is a level of glory and living that only grace can get you there. That's why I believe 2023, for a lot of you world changers, it is going to be an unstoppable year for you as far as doing what needs to be done. I really believe that. So if you have your Bibles, go with me to Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 in the NLT. Ephesians 2 in the NLT. And then Philippians 2 and 12. I'm going to read that in King James and NLT. I, I, I called this this morning... When will I be what God says I am? When will I be what God says I am? Have you ever read a scripture and he's saying, that's you, but then you look at your living and it's not you? I mean, you, you believe by faith that that's you. But then when you get down to looking at, is that being expressed in my life? It doesn't seem like that's you. <laughs> so we're going to introduce to you two terms today. The standing of a believer, a believer's stance in Christ, your standing in Christ. We, we have to know this. And a believer's state, the state of a believer, or when I use the word state, I'm talking about the walk of a believer. So it's the standard of believing your believer, your stance in Christ. I am the righteousness of God. That's my stance in Christ. But my state, my actual walk, may not look so righteous. A am I making sense? The reason your state don't look so righteous, Creflo Dollar, the reason your state don't look so righteous, because you not righteous in the way you just said that. Your posture right now, the way you looking, you know what I'm saying, it's not righteous. You know what I'm saying? Because the bottom line, we not in Christ no more, this Jesus. We in Adam, our Father, our Lord, this Jesus. He was first. I was Adam, this God, you know what I'm saying, this pick, the big daddy, you know what I'm saying, that everybody call Uncle Pick, you know what I'm saying, see your problem is y'all still on Christ, on milk, that's what we feed babies up here on Adam, <laughs> Adam is who we are up here, we not Jesus Christ no more, we Adam's kids and grandkids. And this new Jerusalem talking to you, J-Jack, Jeremy, man. You know what I'm saying? Talking to you from up here in, uh, in heaven. Talking to y'all down there on earth. You know what I'm saying? We, I know y'all behind us and everything. Y'all had a pretty good Sunday listening to Daddy laughed and shit. And felt envious and jealous of it. But then, man, it's about Adam now. This Jesus. Read 1 Corinthians 24, man. 1 Corinthians 15, 24, and uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 24 through 28, and then read uh, read uh, 47 through 48, you know what I'm saying, 45 through 47, same thing, 1 Corinthians 15, 40, 45 through 48. And then, what else I want you to read? Then go to Jude and read Jude 1, 14. I ain't but one in Jude. So read 14, 15, and 16 of Jude. And uh, apologize to Adam and Eve, and you'll be all right with God. 
and apologize to the Adam that I am so that he won't have nothing, you know, that you got against him. You know what I'm saying? Apologize, Creflo, money, you know what I'm saying? And apologize for accepting the mark of the beast or being the beast that offered the mark to my people and offered them money to buy and sell. When I said, lend and do not accept, expect nothing in return. Don't ask for no money back. I'm going to use you this morning. Miss Ken, if I'm, not making, if I'm not making sense, say, say fix, say, fix it up, preacher. But if I am, do this. Because if, if I don't know about to do that, I'm a, I'll go and use a hundred examples and we won't get nowhere here. But th there's a contradiction here. You're telling me I'm righteous on one hand, and then you're telling me to do something to, become, to be that. You're saying, you're saying I am righteous, and then you're saying do something righteous. No, man, I'm telling you, you ain't righteous. I ain't never told you you righteous. It's God. I don't know where you get off these last 14 years, me telling you you righteous, square flow dollar. I ain't told you you righteous. Where you getting that from? This whole message that you finna blot out your mouth ain't nothing but polluted bread. Because you started off with a lie, like God told you you righteous. Now, I know it's important the stance in Christ is by faith. I got to believe that I am who God says I am, even though I'm not expressing that yet. Man, do it take that long to apologize or, or feel like you was wrong for saying that Adam and Eve was the cause of the fall and disobeyed God when it was people like you judging and accusing God and told them that they didn't have no clothes on and God uh, 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 didn't really mean they was going to die and they wasn't going to surely die. That was pretty much the truth. But you told them they was naked. You know what I'm saying? And you told them to take the mark of the beast. And you told them to mark Christ and get married anyway. Jesus ain't came back yet. We ain't seen no Jesus when everybody was hid in Jesus. And y'all was just lying, saying in the name of. You know what I'm saying? Stop lying. Y'all yeah, with me now? <laughs> Hallelujah. Apologize. I am. So I want to start off with this to try to set up this contradiction and try to answer this question, Will will I, when will I be what God says I am? Because religion... Most people only come to church to hear what they already know. And I'm not trying to do that. We're maturing, so I want to dig deeper. I want to challenge what you say you know. And then what happens is once I challenge what you say you know, you're so traditional about what you know, you're not hearing what I'm trying to show you, and then you get all upset and say, I don't know about that. Well, that's right, because you don't know everything, and I don't know everything, but it's God causes us each to grow, we can't be afraid of coming to church and hearing something you hadn't heard before. Church should not be just coming to hear what you already know. If, if, if I did that, if I, if I came to church to hear what I already know, eventually I would like, well, I ain't coming to church. Why? Because I already know. Preacher ain't growing. I ain't growing, so I'm going to stay home. Okay, so let's dig into this. Verse 8. God saved you by His grace when you believe. So the only thing you had to do to be saved, past tense, is believe. How many of you believe Jesus one day? All right. So now you are saved. It's His work. No, it takes more than just believing in Jesus to be saved, Creflo Dollar. You got to be God, Creflo Dollar. You got to be Jesus. And God and Jesus is love, Creflo Dollar. And you got to be love. And to receive the grace from God and the mercy from God and the forgiveness from God, you got to be a forgiver yourself. You got to give grace yourself. And you got to give mercy yourself. You got to be merciful yourself and be Christ, Creflo Dollar. You know what I'm saying? It's not trying to do anything You're else. saved, and all you did is believe. 
He says, and you can't take credit for this. See that? So you brought nothing to the table. See, it's like God saved you by grace, by his grace, when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. See, that's where y'all messing up. You telling the children of God that God saved them by grace. So God's uh, grace was a sacrifice from God that he sacrificed for you. Which God say, I really I don't like to use this word, but it don't pertain to being the sire now. But I desire, desire, yeah. But I desire mercy, not sacrifice, Creflo Dollar. And God did not sacrifice by giving his grace. <laughs> that you believe when you believe. And you can't take credit for this? You a lie. How you can't take credit for doing something that you ain't never done that God did before? Yes, in my thoughts. But then you're thinking you did it. I'm not going to take glory away from you and the credit away from you, Jody Loach, for winning the Olympics. I'm not going to just come in your face and say, oh, you didn't do that. God did that. It, it was just because of Christ. It was all because of Christ that you did that. I'm not going to be no, you know, Uncle Tom ass Creflo Dollar. Money man ass Creflo Dollar. Mark of the Beast having ass marked beast Creflo Dollar. You know what I'm saying? Sitting up there degrading y'all, telling y'all that you can't take credit for something that you did. You didn't know I was going to come here as God. Oh, uh, be God. You didn't even know you was going to have a basic instruction before leaving earth. You didn't even have know you was going to have a Bible. You know what I'm saying? Before I made the earth and everything in it. So my glory go to the, to the beholder of whoever gets credit for what they doing for God. For the kingdom of God. Creflo Dollar. Not, you know what I'm saying, as a gift from God, trying to be envious and jealous, telling somebody that if it wasn't for God, you wouldn't have did it. If we all God's, God accepts you being God and, and is really thankful and appreciates and really loves the idea of you doing the things you do as God. You know what I'm saying? In a godly fashion, in godliness. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell you when you acting out of godliness and doing good things, good deeds, that you didn't do it and you can't take no credit for it. That's a devil-ass Bible, ain't it? Now, tell, tell the truth. Don't that sound like a devil-ass Bible? And when, I mean, and you can't, can't, take control for this. It is a gift from God. <laughs> That's the devil. You are saved by unmerited favor and grace of God. You, are, you, you didn't get saved because you deserved it. You didn't get saved because you did something awesome. See, that's what I'm talking about. You didn't get saved because you deserved it. You didn't get saved because you did something awesome trying to put that in Adam's head, throwing shots at Adam and God now. You know what I'm saying? That's what he doing. He trying to put something out there because every day Adam throwing songs on their ass, rapping on their ass, and everything Adam write is in his motherfucking face as pure D shit. You know what I'm saying? And he don't like that shit, so now he trying to back door and say that what Adam doing, he can't take credit for because Adam, I mean, God did it, but Adam is God. Shit, that's my motherfucking name, flunky ass nigga. You are saved because you believed in Jesus and you were saved, and he says, and you can't take credit for it. <laughs> wow. Listen to that. Listen I meet a lot of Christians who love to take credit for their life. <laughs> I can't take credit for it. I'm saved, and I can't take credit for it. I believe Jesus, and I'm now saved. That is my stance. I am saved right now, and I can't take credit for it. Yeah. Well, so I get to heaven because I'm saved, and I can't take credit for it.
but why you can't take credit for it? You ain't never explained us where in the Bible it say that you can't take credit for it. God's glory go to each the beholder, the person that gets the glory. Now show me what God say. He want all the motherfucking glory, and man don't get no glory for what he do. Tell me that, Creflo Dollar. You know what I'm saying? And I get there, I'm there, and I can't take credit for it. So why are you coming up there with a long list? Roo, look at all the stuff I deserve for you to open this gate. He said, bro, I'm on the gate because you believed and I saved you. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Now, Adam here trying to save him, and, and he said he was saved, but he in, a, in total darkness right now. Oh, we only see the light shining on him because he God giving him a chance to before he go take his ass to prison for stealing a whole bunch of money for 2022 years because if he ain't in no man's prison by man he gonna be in God's prison by God because he ain't gonna get no favor no gifts he ain't, be, and ain't nobody gonna listen to him you know what I'm saying because Adam done made him look totally fucked up you know what I'm saying he got shit all on his face right now because what happens is we think God is like walking behind us to pick up our crumbs. And we're like, all right, God, I'm going to do this. And then you, 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 you help me out. Baby. God say, no, no, no. You can't do none of the work. You, there's nothing. You don't bring none to the table. I'm the one that is doing the work in you. The difference between this new covenant and the old covenant. In the old covenant, we work for God. In the new covenant, he works for us. You a fathead ass lie. You a damn lie. God don't change. God is love. If you are God, you supposed to be the love of God, and the love of God is the love of the children of the God and everything that that's living, that's breathing. You supposed to be the breath of. You know what I'm saying? You're a goddamn liar, Creflo Dollar. Not in a demeaning type of way, but he's doing the work. God, yeah, God doing the work, but you are God's doing the work for me. You just stand still, motherfucker, and say, God doing this. The only thing you can say I'm doing is standing still for your ass. Now go do something and tell me God did it and you didn't. Or watch that shit stay where it's at and don't get done. I ain't going to even fuck Creflo no more. He, his son that was fucked up. He gave polluted bread today. Dumb ass shit. See, I'm here to spread shit all in the pastor's face because I ain't never heard myself tell no pastor that his work was good and he was righteous. <laughs> shit. Unless it was Abraham. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, these brutish motherfuckers here we got today, man, that's all we got is brutish Brutish preachers. Let me see who else is on. I just want to see what Creflo was doing. Let me see what my girl finna tell me. Shit. Having a hard time with your digital marketing campaigns? Post it. Digital marketing wanters are hard to handle, right? Take this for your tears. I wasn't. With White Shark Media, you can focus on running your business while we take care of the ever evolving, time consuming digital marketing piece. Our team of experts craft the marketing strategies your business needs to increase brand awareness. Expert marketing strategies will take your business to the next level by targeting the right audience at the right time and all around the globe. And I mean everywhere. Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. Okay, let's tap in to get a message here for you guys. All right. This is for all signs. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I'm here and expect change here. Oh, wow. Something is changing here. Ooh, yeah, expect change here. All right, in this situation here, 
Why does somebody want to work with you here? Occupation, marriage. Somebody any thoughts right now about this? Maybe work on a relationship or work. Yeah, to get a relationship off the ground. Yeah, but they know they're going to have to. Yeah, somebody putting work in, honey. Tool and labor to get this great fortune with you. They see you as great fortune. They feel like you're worth putting the work in the hard work and effort in. Yeah. This was flipped over, okay? It's past life reconciliation. So whatever this is, somebody was trying to do something to cause delays here. Somebody could be 38, don't have to be. Hmm. Let's see, guys. Age pieces all over the place, child. <laughs> Let us see. I'm still messages here for you guys right now. Somebody feel like a dumbass right now. Alright. <laughs> Eight Eight of, they really feel like they made a, too many mistakes. They messed up real bad in whatever way this is. For a treat, mm hmm. Guidance, but where did it lead you? So, somebody feel like they somebody guided them down the wrong path here, mm hmm. They now they're trying to figure out a way to fix it. Yeah, the past returns for a time. Yeah, so somebody's trying to figure a way to fix something now that they did in the past. This person from your past may want to come back around to you. Yeah. Magical cleaning space. Yeah. Somebody giving an idea like, hey, I need to clean this shit up. Guidance, but where would it lead this person to healing? <laughs> Whatever guidance this is, somebody got here, you're healing now. All right. Yeah, it's cleanup time. All this cleanup time, healing energy. Somebody like, well, damn. Okay, collective. What's going on? Yeah. You actually grew from a situation or you're growing from a situation. Somebody could be between the ages of 30 and 42. Like most aesthetic practices, you're missing out on thousands of dollars of recurring revenue every month. That Ooh, yeah, codependency. Somebody was at a or at a crossroads because somebody was codependent on someone else. Oh yeah, and addictions. Maybe there was a codependent on addictions. Wow, somebody was addicted to black magic and being stubborn. What? I don't be addicted to black, whatever. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. They about to get kicked out. Somebody getting kicked out. Yeah. For being obsessed about you. Being in the industry or entertainer. Somebody really was being childish because of your upgrade in life. Yeah. Yeah. This is why somebody was doing something, y'all. Being childish because you were leveling up and you got a major upgrade in life or you're getting one. Somebody that was addicted to being doing black magic that was trying to copy everything that you do is getting kicked out of the house.
someone could be getting kicked out of their house or home, whatever, for being childish. Someone was being very childish. Whoever this copycat energy was, all right? Yeah, they were obsessed with you being in an industry here. And they start wishing ill will and negative intent on you. What? Yeah. Somebody all in their feelings now that they're taking a the time to taking a moment to reflect the missing piece. Somebody really was in their feelings on Halloween. Not Halloween, on Thanksgiving. Somebody laughing at this person because their ex has got denied because you're fully in your life purpose. So if they were trying to hurt you and in whatever way, um, they got blocked from doing anything to you because you're in your life purpose. Whatever you're doing here is, you know, straight from the divine energy. So whatever business you have going on or you in the entertainment business here, uh, whatever this is, it's straight from the divine. So they can't block that. That's like, you can't do that. <laughs> All right, y'all, what? So clean up time, magical cleaning space. So something is about to be cleared away. Out your energy, all right? I'm hearing somebody laugh at somebody. Like somebody could be laughing at somebody, calling them all kind of names and shit. And right with the how, yeah, they feel some type of way. They don't fuck with this person no more. Ten of swords is over. Something is over. And that's karmic justice right, right there. Because somebody would not give up trying to block somebody, like, yeah, yeah, with this lie. Somebody could have been lying to somebody about y'all. But somebody would not give up with trying to betray you because they felt left. Yeah, they about to be left out in the cold now. <laughs> what the fuck? Watching y'all be with somebody. Child, what is this, Barry? What? I cannot. So somebody is jealous, y'all, of you. Very much so. Jealous of your level up. They tried to, to the point where they tried to even copy you. Or mock something that you do. Hmm. They could even been doing black magic to cause some sort of addiction. Or this is someone that it has addictions and that was doing the black magic. The reality of it is a really good liar is going to feel like a really good person. So the first thing that I tell people is don't trust me. I wouldn't trust a car salesman either. Go to the internet, look for the evidence. It's in our reviews. Every time I speak to somebody, I direct them straight to our consumer reviews. There's nothing more clear-cut than what you read online about how we do business. Dallas Lease Returns is the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Texas used car dealer of the year. I think you should come see why. This audiobook about Vegas nerve exercises made over 600 sales on Audible last month. And the guy who owns it, his name is Mikey Chavez, he makes about six dollars in royalties for every sale but what's even crazier is this guy is not even a real person what he did is he got someone else to narrate this audiobook for him and he just put it on audible slap so i don't know how they getting kicked out like maybe like i said so somebody could be living with somebody here they wanted to keep somebody all in their head about you. Yeah, now they all in their head, okay? We got a king of cups. Could be all in their head. They, had, they wanted a king of pentacles to be in their head about you, but now the king of cups is in their head about something or feeling trapped or blinded to something or what? When this head, maybe they need to make a decision. They had a crossroads here. What's going on? I could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Aries with the full card. I am. Wow. 
strong fire. Leo Aries Sag just flopped out. Strong fire. Yeah, due to a path they chose in the past here. Five of Wands. There's a lot of conflict going on at this time. There could be like constant fighting going on as well. Somebody tired of it. Somebody is very stressed now because some conflict uh, spells are being blocked as well or has gotten blocked. Nine of Wands. Somebody could be also in the Five of Wands because uh, they're, they were being reckless in whatever way this is. Okay. Yeah. This King of Wands here in the past here. The Emperor is struggling right now or feeling heavily burdened here because they're fighting something or fighting with someone. What's the uh -huh. coming in here? Page of Wands. This is a message. Somebody was being immature. Like, you see this? This is a your messenger here, but this messenger is so immature. They're childish. Look at this. She's in her tutu and with her wand in her hand and creating whatever okay what's the obstacle here okay okay we're gonna take this one ace of wands in the reverse three of pentacles three of wands working together here somebody was working together with someone here planning teamwork in the future but there's no passionate new beginning now that's the obstacle somebody was planning to have a passionate new beginning in the future but no it's in inverted yeah they missed the opportunity they're heartbroken maybe due to a third party interference All, all fire, Leo Aries Sag, straight up. Okay, you could be a Leo Aries Sag, or this is a Leo Aries Sag. Okay, what's the outcome of the situation? Outcome, please. Judgment. Oh. Wow. Somebody could have them go through an awakening because of this. Yeah, they're going to have to make a practical decision, a trustworthy decision, practical. Somebody's under judgment in the ethers as above, so as below. For causing imbalances to someone's happiness. I feel like they plan for you to miss opportunities, but you had the strength and courage to stand, tend to have stability or stand uh, your ground here. So there's a painful ending coming to the Queen of Wands here. And whatever they offered someone, somebody did not believe that they messed up because they got blocked here or something like that. They can't believe they, this shit. They messed up. Strong Leo energy. All right. But they're under judgment. This fire sign from your past. The past returns for a time in the reverse. They thought they could come back around to you for some reason or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They made too many mistakes. Like... In the past or whatever. Yeah, the cycle could have ended here. All right. They could have caused some needless carp drama. And you leaving? It's like, I'm leaving. Not five of one. Look how she, she got packed her shit. She out. She like, what? And he like, where the fuck is you going? You belong to me. That's what he looked like he's saying. And she looking like, I am already made my decision to get the fuck on towards to love myself heal myself here like that's the energy she she like not playing with this person so whoever you are you made a practical decision to go get the fuck on like i'm not like yeah and go heal <laughs> yeah pretty much five of wands and they're upset like why are you upset like you done did too much you made too many mistakes like you're doing too much five of wands they keep causing drama or fights for no reason. King of Wands. Leo Aries said, straight up. I feel like somebody wanted to give equally to you or something needed to be equal give and take this Aries. 
All right, but they could have been having hidden this honor. Okay. Yeah, don't get mad. My my cat my cat is eerie, y'all. She be talk. I talk. She think I'm talking to her ass because she bad. <laughs> um, but no. Uh. Yeah, this person feel like they caused some needless drama here, or it was dumb to cause a fight with you here, to take this type of action here. What's the King of Wands, Two of Cups? Yeah, because they really want to be with you. <laughs> they wanted to be with you here. All right. <laughs> in whatever way, now they're all in their head because of all, whatever they did. Yeah, being immature. They could be spying all in their head, stressed out here because they really want to be with you. But they took action to cause conflict with you. They wanted to fight with you. Needless drama. Doing dumb shit that it don't make no sense. Like, why would you do that? They feel like they made too many mistakes here. By being immature here. They thought they would get a celebration in the past. But you used your intuition to get the fuck on. Like, I gotta go. Now your emperor is heavily burdened that they missed this opportunity. Like, I... I what? Why would they think? What? Is, that's not cute. It's not cool. Like, why would somebody? Why would this person even think you would stick around when they playing mind games or trying to keep you stuck or trying to have you fucked up or whatever mentally or whatever this is? It's like what or feeling left out in the cold when you were the fucking key to everything. Like, this is giving like somebody knew you were the key. All right, to everything, but they fumbled it. They messed up because they wanted you to feel less than, and they wound up losing everything. This is like taking like a big risk, like gambler. Somebody could be like a gambler. They really gambled their life with this move, whatever this is that they did. They gambled their own happiness, their own peace like <laughs> to make you feel something else this is crazy page of wands so somebody was being immature here what's the page of wands they getting a message here <laughs> like they fucked up. <laughs> what the hell is this? Page of Wands. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Page of Wands. <sighs> Jeez. They ju yeah, they juggled the Ten of Pentacles here, honey. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. They needed to have structure and discipline, but they showing up all these wands, like Page of Wands. We got the King of Wands. Knight of Wands, right? <laughs> so I feel like somebody got the message as somebody or is getting the message that you see them as a player or they do things impulsively. That was dumb. Or what is the Knight of Wands? Four Wands. Yeah, this, somebody could have been trying to rush somebody to get into coming to a union or getting in a relationship or whatever this is off of lies, false pretenses, two of wands here. That's getting exposed here. That somebody sabotaged something. Or this was hidden dishonor here in this relationship, in this situation. Somebody could have been a player or did something impulsively and immature. Like I said earlier, Ace of Wands is inverted here. The obstacle is that there will be no passionate brand, brand new beginning for this person. Ace of Wands in route. Yeah, you going. Six, you're healing your heart and moving forward. Maybe with the King of Pentacles that actually is emotionally available. Six of Swords here. Some more Kama Waters. Six of Swords. That's the truth. King of Swords. Yeah, somebody's very much so awakened to the fact that her, um. You may have chose a different path, and you like get the fuck on with that. What did you? What you thought this was? Like what? That kind of energy, King of Swords. Somebody's getting the message that you actually chose a path. Yeah, you really gone. 
you really go you're not coming back. I don't know what this person thought. I don't know what this person thought, y'all. But we got the King of Pentacles, we got the Page of Cups, and then the Nine of Swords. Somebody is stressed, worried, having anxiety that they were not mature. They didn't do something in mature fashion. They could have had you waiting for something here. Three of Wands. You waited for this emperor to get it together? You waited for this emperor to get they shit together. Maybe to recognize you as their empress. You were waiting for your emperor, but... Meanwhile, in, a, in the meantime, in between time, Five of Wands also could be putting you in competition. Even though they knew you were their Two of Cups. They wanted you to feel stuck. So, they decided to take action as a player. Maybe rush into a relationship off of lies or a marriage off of a lie or off of whatever. Okay. Maybe somebody was being a player in the relationship and was lying like you was fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. Before y'all stop dealing with this person, at the end of the day, their obstacle is there will be no brand new passionate beginning. They'd admit they'd have lost you this lifetime, honey. It's over. Like, what the hell was you thinking? That energy, they know that you really gone. Like, you really gone. You left your feelings. Yeah, I'm hearing, uh, yeah. Pick it up your feelings or pick up the peak, whatever. Uh, what she said, don't forget to pick up your, your 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 feelings or some shit while I'm up cleaning. Damn, somebody like, wow, are you really going? They could be drinking a lot, eight of cups. Yeah, they feel like they should have made a practical decision instead of juggling you. It only ended they wish. Fulfillment. They are they gonna be left out in the cold here because they didn't make you a solid offer here or something. What's judgment? So they under judgment right now, collective. Yeah, you really going. What's the judgment here? Yeah. Something had to be an equal give and take. Somebody had to give equally to you. All right, time, money, effort, love, all of that had to be an equal give and take or everything would change. Instead, they tried to manipulate your confidence so that you can be in a lower oh, like I said. So what the fuck is, who is this person, y'all? So yeah, if they make you where your confidence level is just somebody sent a messenger or put you at the level of Jesus. Jesus is at an all-time low, man. Nobody believes you when you say in the name of Jesus. I don't believe you. This God, when you say in the name of Jesus. Anybody saying in the name of Jesus don't really know Jesus or what Jesus was meant to be or what Jesus was because Jesus was to be, not to know. You know what I'm saying? Not to know of. And some of y'all just know of. Some of y'all think y'all know him like Thomas, T.D. Jakes. He think he know him. And, and I don't doubt he do. You know what I'm saying? Because he said one time, uh, Thomas said he wasn't going to see, he wasn't going to believe that I was dead, or that I was alive until he see where he Pierce me in my side. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, yeah, that's what they do to the church people. They get you ready to be crucified by bringing you down to nothing but Christ did it. You didn't have nothing to do with it, preaching sermons like that out of a non-effective Bible, an infected Bible. You know what I'm saying? An infected Bible. Nothing but booby traps and landmines to kill, steal, and destroy from the children of God. Somebody literally tried to make you less confident. 
so you can accept their fuck shit. Yeah, so you can accept they little less than if they make you feel less confident. Oh, you little overly qualified. You know what I'm saying? Um, normally, this job doesn't pay but $19 an hour when you used to making 38 You know what I'm saying? And they trying to get you in to make 18 You know what I'm saying? Like a shipyard welder. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I'm doing away with the money. Because it's sure enough messed up for a Mexican dude in this world of white and black. You know, you either going to get top pay or you ain't going to get no pay. And they don't let rig welders be Mexican dudes most of the time. A lot of them don't have driver's license to get in the plant. Or if they do, you know, um, they they lot of welders. They lot of rig welders. The first lot that a rig welder going to tell you to to turn you away from becoming a rig welder and making a lot of money, he going to tell you that a rig welder got to get a million dollars worth of car insurance, truck insurance, liability. You got to get a million dollars worth of insurance to become a rig welder. That's the first lie they're going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Or you got to do all these hard tests. They going to tell you about that they ain't never took and they ain't never heard of they sell, you know what I'm saying? And then tell your buddy that your 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 buddy that's a uh that's a laborer that you want to be a pipe fitter helper, and the pipe fitters send him to the trailer to get a pipe stretcher, you know what I'm saying? And you can't tell him nothing because he he really being initiated into construction. You know what I'm saying? Go get a pipe stretcher. You know what I'm saying? I need to make this pipe a little longer than it is. And if you go to that tool room and get that pipe stretcher, you ain't going to get no pipe stretcher. But if you go to that tool room, oh, he going to send you back. And he going to send you back. And he going to send you back. And then you going to come back and say, man, he said you got one, man. It's over there in that corner, man. You know what I'm saying? And then finally somebody going to tell you. Man, there's no such thing, no goddamn pipe stretcher man we can't stretch no goddamn pipe once once that shit the size of the hills goddamn you make that cut it's your motherfucking fault if it's wrong you know what i'm saying but yeah they try to mess with your confidence so they could give you messed up deals and stuff like that money man all fucked up man i don't fuck with money i don't fuck with money i leave money alone you know what i'm saying I leave money alone. Let me see what my girl talking about over here. Liz Lee. Come on, Liz, and let me see what you're talking about. Give me something to go on today. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? Chat room. You know what I'm saying? Emperor, Empress. Oh, shit. This is sad. It's like this is somebody that was definitely taking their strength back from somebody that was very draining. It's like that person was pulling on their energy and weighing them down, like burdening this person. And they could have been in a nine of swords, stressed out, going through a lot of depression because of that person. Wow. Ace of Cups. And then Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody somebody rejected. They they felt rejected because somebody could have, you know, chose to start loving their self, paying attention to their self more, focusing on their self. Focusing on, you know, starting some type of new venture, desiring to change or just have, you know, a new beginning new possibilities, new opportunities. This person could have started working on a new project, something like that. And they weren't hip to hip around that person anymore. And they got, you know, envious and jealous of them. Or they decided to betray them. Because as I said, somebody thought they had some type of control or domination over somebody. Until somebody started, you know, gaining some type of inner strength and getting more focused. Two of Pentacles. Two 
and then King of Wands. So yeah, they definitely did something to have this person dealing with some type of, you know, some type of juggling in their life. You know, priorities will be all over the place to stop this person from being focused, King of Wands. Because they felt rejected. This person felt insecure about their self. They weren't happy with their self. And they didn't want that person to be happy. It's like they seen new beginnings for that person and not them. Yeah. This is somebody that's definitely binded hip to hip to that person. They could have shared different toxic patterns, addictions, behaviors. You know, being in a destructive mindset. Being very codependent to, um, you know, each other's energy. Different things like that. You know, stuck, uh, you know, bind it to each other in the material. Queen of Swords. And then King of Pentacles. And then the Hermit. Two of Cups. And then Nine of Pentacles. So whoever this Queen of Swords is, is in Hermit mode. That person could be, you know, somebody that's just very independent. Because the Queen of Swords, the Hermit, and Nine of Pentacles. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, this is someone that is, um, Wanting to come towards this person and partner up with this person. It's like they feel like they have a connection with this person. Um, this could be love. They could just want to work with this person. But it's some type of attraction that they have. Um, a mutual attraction between two people. But it's like this person have been in hermit mode. But they're in this nine of pentacles. And whoever this this queen of swords, this is someone that is very, you know, they know how to set healthy boundaries. It's like they don't need people around them. This is somebody that, you know, they, they stand up for what they believe in. If they believe something is low vibrational, they're not going to give any time or energy or money to it. This is someone that does not mind being by their self. <laughs> Three of Swords. And then Five of Pentacles. Somebody is stressed. Yeah, this is sad. Somebody is heartbroken. It's like somebody could have took some type of loss behind this. Whatever they were doing to try to have somebody stuck, they're heartbroken because they could be, you know, financially unstable. They could be in an energy where they lost a lot if they thought they were going to gain a lot. Then you have the moon. Yeah, somebody's definitely keeping this hidden. Like the way they feel, they're keeping it hidden. Five of Swords. Yeah, they definitely sabotaged their self. Whoever was in this five of swords energy, they only sabotage yourself. And it's like they're trying to act like, you know, nothing is going on. They're hiding it. This is sad. Nine of wands. Yeah, they're stuck in guilt. Because the plan to try to sabotage someone else, they didn't expect that they would be in that energy. They didn't place this on their self. All because they were trying to hold on to something. Wow. It's like whatever they, they could have been hiding the fact that they were, you know, dealing with some type of issues that had nothing to do with that person. 
you know, insecurities, um, different abandonment issues from when they were younger. And they, you know, wanted to take it out on that person. They could have felt lost when that person, you know, gained their strength and guarded their energy and just, you know, did not want to associate with that person, rejected that person and different things like that. And somebody definitely, you know, felt lost when somebody was no longer like interacting with them. And um, this was definitely a karmic relationship, friendship, something like that. And it's like somebody could realize as they were holding on to that person or as they were attached to that person, they were sabotaging them. 